Hello everybody and uh, the train goes on and we're at uh, 1983 83 wow. So here's 1983 in a uh, little nutshell President Reagan initiated the Strategic Defense Initiative which has uh, got to be known as Star Wars and it failed obviously Shuttle Challenger was launched for the first time. The world population reached 4.7 billion people, of which 1 billion of that were Chinese. Richard Noble took the uh, land speed record in his uh, car Thrust 2 at uh, 633 and a third miles an hour. At 633 and a half miles an hour. Get it right. Seat belts became mandatory in Britain. Sally Ride became the first American woman in space. Uh, she was on the uh, Space Shuttle Challenger, probably the same launch as the one I mentioned earlier. Margaret Thatcher won a landslide election that year for the Conservatives to become Prime Minister for the second time. So what I told you was true, from a certain point of view. ARPANET was changed to use the Internet Protocol, creating the Internet. Also that year, Breakfast TV began. Uh, BBC started showing a uh, BBC Breakfast and uh, ITV called it something else. Yeah. Some TV shows that uh, interested me that year were uh, The Moomins. Well, I used to watch it. It, it wasn't my favourite show, but I do remember it. Blackadder was new that year. Just Good Friends, the BBC sitcom. Remember that very well. The A-Team came to the BBC. No, came to ITV. Came to British Television. That did. Tucker's Luck was a BBC2 drama. This was a... Uh, Basically a spin-off of Grange Hill, uh, the character Tucker uh, was one of the most popular characters on the Grange Hill and he left school and looks like a couple of years later they decided to bring out his own TV show of what he did after he left school. Ophelia's and Pet was uh, a, a very popular drama series on ITV I believe. Uh, so that was a show about uh, some builders from the northeast who went to Germany for work building work in Germany. The northeast bit, that's in the title, you know, Ovid is in Pet, Ovid is in being German, Pet being from, uh, a term of affection often used by us here up north. Yeah, Pet. But more by the northeasters, you know, Newcastle and the like. So amongst those who died that year were uh, David Niven, Karen Carpenter, her of the Carpenters, and uh, Carolyn Jones best known to me at least for playing Morticia Adams in The Adams Family. Born that year, I'm keeping this list short now because I want to keep these videos for the short. So. Some celebrities born that year included Emily Blunt, Lupita Nyong'o, who uh, I discovered is actually Mexican. Well, born in Mexico of Kenyan heritage. So, it's, it's, uh, I guess you could say it's complicated. <laughs> Isn't life these days, yeah? Mo Farah, the Olympic and world champion runner type trap. Long distance runner, that's what I'm looking for. Amy Winehouse was born that year, as was Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino, aka but not really Lando Calrissian, oh, man. and Felicity Jones, also uh, best known to me as uh, the girl in uh, the Rogue One movie, a Star Wars story. And lastly but not least, Adam Driver, also famous for Star Wars. He also played uh, uh, th uh, that girl's boyfriend in Girls. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. No, you haven't. I'm immune to the light. Really? Don't fight it. Why not? You don't be afraid. Uh, I feel it too. Uh, stay with me. I guess you could say that uh, the mid, early to mid 80s was when I started buying records and uh, one of the records I bought, not that year, but that was released that year was a uh, a record by uh, ZZ Top called Eliminator and uh, here's my version the picture disc because you know I could have bought the ordinary vinyl but uh, I think this is prettier yeah so that's the year that I would have turned 15 and uh, you know getting old getting ready to leave school in a couple of years time hopefully you probably won't notice it but I, I had uh, developed a bit of a stutter by then I've edited it out hence all the drum cuts that you're seeing in these videos but um, you know I could leave them in but uh, I prefer not to because well <laughs> would you <laughs> anyway that was uh, 
1983 for me. Do you have any recollections of 1983? <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi was also released that year and uh, I, when that film came out my best friend and I bought tickets to see it, bought tickets in advance, about four months in advance to go see that movie and uh, I can't remember what it cost us, about five pounds, you know. but it wasn't just the Return of the Jedi that we went to see because uh, on the same bill was uh, not just one, not two, but all three Star Wars films, so the whole showing was uh, Star Wars, A New Hope, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and then Star Wars Return of the Jedi. And uh, it was quite a, quite a good day, all afternoon and evening, so you know, must have spent about eight hours in that cinema. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, I remember it being quite a good day, good evening, and uh, a lot of other uh, classmates, schoolmates and that were there as well, so uh, I particularly remember when it started, because back in those days, this is 1983, you understand, uh, cinemas weren't all that, uh, the showings weren't all that technically minded, so, but uh, they had, uh, just before the the uh, show started, uh, there was a, a mirror ball in the, in the auditorium, and that came on, you know, spotlight shone on it, and it spun around slowly, and, and the whole cinema was just full of stars going around, and it, it looked it looked quite amazing. A few memories of 1983, and uh, well, looks like I'll see you next time for 1984. It's a trap.